We all think that media in the Western world is free. It shows the truth without any bias or taking a side. Right? Well, no. In this video, we are gonna have a quick look to what happened in Jerusalem in the last few weeks and see how it was presented by the Western media and how it actually was from the Palestinian point of view. من سكان حي الجرجرة مهجر من مدينة حيفا إذا المحكمة يعني فرضت علينا الإخلاء ما إلا ما كان إلا الأرصفة أنا وكل هالعائلات اللي موجودة لأنه ما إلناش بديل الحياة بس الأرصفة يعني Hi, I'm Tarek Habib and in this video I'm going to show you what is really happening. To understand the current situation, we must go back a little in time, from 1920 until 1948, before the declaration of the State of Israel, when Palestine was under British occupation, like some other countries such as Iraq and Egypt. And during the British occupation, the Jews' percentage in Palestine increased from 3% to 31%. This is because of the immigration of Jews during the British occupation time, from all over the world to Palestine. Why? Because of the Balfour declarations and the British promises to the Zionist Jews by establishing a homeland for Jewish people in Palestine. A promise from those who do not have to those who do not deserve. They facilitated the immigration of Jews to Palestine. Come and take a home, come and take a land for free. Britain and the Western world provided them with weapons and money until the Zionist gang grew and become stronger. Actually, if you take a look to the Zionist governors, you're gonna see that all of them are from Eastern Europe and other places in the world. For example, the former president, Shimon Beres, he is born in Belarus. The current prime minister, Netanyahu, he is born in Palestine to a family that immigrated from Poland during the British occupation. As you see, both are literally from Europe. In 1948, Britain decided to leave and in the same year, the establishment of the State of Israel has been announced. The Arab states tried to prevent this intruder group from being a state in 1948, but they failed and the Zionist gangs took over 78% of the Palestinian lands. The Palestinians were expelled and deported from their home to other lands that were not controlled by the Jews, like East Jerusalem. In the largest ethnic cleansing operation in the recent history. Unfortunately, until this moment, this ethnic cleansing process continues. After 1967 war, Israel was able to control the rest of the Palestinian lands, and they are trying to do what they did in 1948, kicking out the Palestinians from their houses in East Jerusalem, specifically in Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. There are 28 Palestinian families. The Israeli forces want to kick them out of their houses. This is my house! Not alone. What the house? Not alone. Because you see it! Imagine that you are expelled out of your home and your country to put in a state settlers who came by a plan from another country, protected by the Israeli police forces, who daily attacks the holiest place for Muslims, the Aqsa Mosque, to seize it as they did to the Palestinian lands before. <laughs> And every day we hear about Palestinians get killed by the bullets of the Israeli army. All of this is happening and fires are burning in the Middle East because of what is happening to the Palestinians. And what do we hear from the Western media and the Western governors? Nothing. Nada. Nichts. Nafish, when the Palestinians see that there is no one in the world is moving for them, for their homes, for their lives, for their houses, for their holy places, they decided to take an action. The Palestinian resistance have warned the Israeli authorities to leave the Palestinians in Jerusalem, to stop attacking the Aska Mosque, to stop bringing Jews settlers to sit instead of them in their houses. And when the aggression against the Palestinians did not stop, unfortunately they had to fire indiscriminate rockets at Israeli cities. Just in that moment, we saw wailing and crying in all over the American and European news. Oh my god, what a shock! Look at these bad Palestinians attacking the peaceful, calm, happy Israel. 
Oh really? And something really funny happened. New York Post posted that Hamas killed 20 Israeli citizens. And when they discovered that Israel is the one who killed the 20 Palestinian person, they just deleted it and post a new headline. Hamas launches a new attack against Israel. Ah, bad Palestinians, what are you doing? Falsification of facts and news in a very, very ugly way. Come on people, it's not 1948 anymore. We have social media. A guy like me can do a video like that to show the truth that you are trying to hide. There are thousands of Palestinians who have social media and posting every day about what Israeli forces are doing to them. This is Western media. Israeli media is a whole other thing. I can't even talk about it. I'm gonna start laughing about how silly it is. They are killing Palestinians every day, stealing their houses. And the second Palestinians started to self-defense, they are running to the big daddy USA police. Bad Palestinians are killing us. Oh, really? You are bombing them with the newest technology. You are arresting them. You are attacking their houses. One word you hear a lot when you cover Israel-Palestine is the word clashes. There are clashes between Israelis and Palestinians in Jerusalem tonight. These are not clashes. In Jerusalem, one side, not the other, is firing rubber-coated steel bullets. One side, not the other, has hundreds of people injured and in hospital tonight. One side, not the other, is having its holy sites raided. And don't get me wrong, there is violence from the Palestinian side too. The rockets out of Gaza today, courtesy of Hamas, for example. But the fundamental unavoidable reality at the heart of this conflict is that there is an asymmetry of power here. One side is the occupier, the other side is occupied. Yeah, this is just part of the truth. I just wanted to show the hypocrisy of the Western media, how they claim that they are free and they are looking for freedom and, and the lies I am seeing every day the Palestinian deserve to be healed. That's all what I had to say. Thank you for watching.